Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be covering the basics of skipping tests in PyTest. So in the past couple of videos, we've looked at how we can write and run tests in PyTest. However, there are often cases where we want to skip some of the tests we have written. And it would be really nice if we had a way to do this from the code level. That way we don't have to remember to add some sort of extra argument to our PyTest command in order to skip these tests. Now, luckily for us, PyTest includes a number of ways to do just that. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's go ahead and start with our first example today in this test skip zero.py. So in here, we see a couple of familiar faces. We see our square function that squares a number. And then we see our test for the square function called test square. Now, one way that we can skip this test is through the pytest.mark.skip decorator. And we get this by, or we can use this by importing pytest first. Now, what is this marker actually doing? This marker is just saying that after collection, when we get to the execution stage for pytest, don't run this test that we have marked with skip. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like when we actually try to run this test uh, by using the pytest command. So I'll do pytest and then the name of the file, test skip zero, and we see something slightly different than we've seen before. So, you know, just like with all the other tests we've seen, our, uh, our test gets collected. So collected that single item, that test square test. However, it doesn't actually run. You can see that we now have this little yellow, yellow, orange S here instead of a green dot. And at the very bottom, it says that we have this one test that was skipped. Right? So our test was skipped. It didn't actually run. Now, just like we can add this marker to our standalone test function, uh, our test functions, we can also add this marker to things like test classes. So let's go ahead and open up test skip onepy and we see our test class from the last video that includes tests for both square and cube, these two functions that we have above. Now, right above our test class, we can add this decorator, pytest.mark.skip, to skip all of the tests within this test class. So if we go ahead and try and run this, so we do pytest test skip one.py, we see that both of our tests get collected, both test square and test cube, but neither of them actually run. They both get skipped, right? So two skipped in zero seconds. Now with these decorators, it doesn't just have to be um, at the class level, right? So you can also apply the skip, the skip decorator to say just one of the functions or methods within this class. So in this case, we'd just be skipping test square within our test class. So if we go ahead and try and rerun this now with pytest, we see that one of our tests gets skipped, but the other one actually does run. So one passed and one skipped. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and reset this as it was before and move on to the next example, which is going to be this test skip 2py So there are often times that we want to skip a test but during execution. So maybe we've hit some sort of code path that isn't implemented and rather than failing the test um, or you know just returning and making it look like the test completed successfully, we want to mark um, our test as skipped after a certain point in execution. Now we can do this in a slightly different way. So instead of using um, that decorator, pytest.mark.skip from importing pytest, we can use just a call to pytest.skip, and this will just end execution and mark the test as being skipped. Um, now, this is slightly different, right, because now we're doing it within the actual test body and not just as a decorator for the function. So let's go ahead and quit out of here and see how this looks. So we'll run pytest with test skip 2py and we see a similar result as we did with the other examples. Our test still gets collected and it still looks like the test was skipped as normal, even though we made that call within the actual test body. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next example, which is going to be this test skip 3.py. Now, oftentimes when we're skipping tests, it's really important to document why we're skipping a particular test. So you don't want to come back a week later, a month later, six months, six months later, and find a whole bunch of skip tests and have no idea why the tests were skipped in the first place. 
and we can do a little bit of inline documentation with the skip markers by providing uh, this reason argument, which just takes a string. So here we have our pytest mark skip decorator, just as normal, but now we're providing this optional reason. And we're just saying here, look, we are skipping this test. So let's go ahead and quit out of here and run this. So it will be pytest test skip 3.py. And unfortunately, by default, you won't actually see this reason. So pytest does a lot of hiding away of things that it, think, that it thinks might clutter the screen. But we can get more information by adding at the end of this command, dash R and then S. So S for extra information for skip tests. And you can find out more about this dash R option through things like pytest dash dash help. So here, if we rerun it with this extra information for skip tests, we can actually see our skip reason. So we have our one test that was skipped within this module, test skip three at this line number, and then we get our actual reason saying, look, we are skipping this test. So reasons are a really useful and important thing to add whenever we're adding these, you know, say skip markers. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue and we'll go to our next example, which will be this test skip forward.py. So, you know, up until this point, we've been looking at um, unconditionally skipping tests. So we add a skip marker, our test gets skipped. We add a call to pytest.skip, our test get skipped. But there are times where we want to conditionally skip tests. And we can do just that with a slightly different decorator. And that's going to be this pytest mark skip if, which we can get as well from importing pytest. And it works in a very similar way to pytest.mark.skip. But now it takes two arguments. One of them is the condition that we're going to skip the test if it's true. And then just like with our normal skip marker, um, we can provide a reason. In fact, skip if requires that you provide a reason. So what are we doing in here? We're saying we want to skip this test, test square, if our version of Python is greater than 3.6. And we're just gonna say, test requires Python version less than or equal to 3.6. Now, the version of Python I'm running on this machine is 3.7, so my test should get skipped. So this is a very useful way to skip tests, you know, if you find that the system doesn't have a particular software requirement. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this pytest test skip four. And remember, we'll add this dash rs. That way we see that extra pytest reason um, in our actual printout. And we see that our single test was collected and that it was skipped with that skip if decorator. And we see this is coming from test skip four. And we see our reason, test requires Python version less than or equal to 3.6. So that's another way we can skip tests, but conditionally rather than unconditionally. Okay, so we have one final example today, and that's going to be this test skip 5.py. And this is where we have this pytest.importer uh, importer skip. So we can skip all the tests in a file if we fail to do some module import. So here we're saying, you know, I want to import some, you know, my import. And what I'm actually going to be, try to be importing from is this my module, which is just some fake dummy name that doesn't actually exist. So it should skip the tests in this file. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this looks when we try to, to run the tests inside of test skip 5.py. And then we see that the test collected zero items and that there was one skipped. And if we go ahead and add this dash RS to get more information about the skip tests, we can see that the reason why we skip the test in this file is because we have this module import error, right? So could not import my module, no module named my module, right? We gave some kind of dummy name, Python wasn't able to import it, so our test was skipped. And you can further kind of fine tune that import skip by saying you have to be able to import um, a module of a particular version, right? So there are a lot of different ways you can, you can configure this skipping of tests. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. It's a basic introduction to some of the ways that we can skip tests in PyTest. Of course, you can find out a lot more about this at the official PyTest documentation 
that I have on the right hand side of the screen, which I'll be linking below the video. So this is all at docs.pytest.org and they have a nice page on how do you skip an X fail to deal with tests that cannot succeed. So I'll link to that page. Likewise, you can find all of the examples that we looked at today at github.com slash copy before arch. So if we go under repositories, you can find everything under this PyTest repository. And you can also find written guides um, related to PyTest under the PyTest guide repository. And I'll put a link to this guide on skipping tests with PyTest below the video as well. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you had a nice day.